Hello friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, my name is Angelica. I'm sharing my healthy weight loss wellness journey online and I'm just trying to glow up. Today I'm showing you a productive Sunday vlog. It's been a little while since I've vlogged. Had some things to do around the house, had some meal prep to get done, lots of other things in today's video. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I'm taking a little pause here because I want to make an actual breakfast that like isn't a Nutty Buddy bar, but that was really good. That was really good. Um, so I'm going to use my Dash Egg Maker thing. It's always linked in my description because it's one of my favorite kitchen things I've ever had. I'm going to take this thing out because I'm not going to boil eggs. I'm going to use this little tray, which is just like an empty tray, and it's for poaching, but I'm going to attempt attempt it's being the key word here to put two eggs in it instead of just one so i fill up my water to my little poaching level put that in there i'm going to spray just a tiny bit of oil in my thing I'm doing just a little bit of salt for now. I'm gonna take it off of this though. Okay. And maybe a little bit of pip. Put a little pip in my step. Okay. <laughs> it's very early. All right, there we go. I'm gonna pop this lid on. I'm not gonna close it all the way because it says not to actually because it gets really like stuck on there. Voila, and we will have uh, two perfectly runny eggs in just a few moments, I hope, hopefully. I haven't tried two yet, because I think it's supposed to be one at a time, but YOLO. Is your ball under the couch? Did you lose it? Hmm? <laughs> okay, that was so fast. Cooper's playing with his ball. Ta-da. I wonder if they're too runny though. Should I poke it? Mm, I'm gonna poke it. All right, well, that was so fast that I haven't even uh, gotten my potatoes done yet. Also, I know my air fryer looks disgusting and I've tried every way I can think of. I cannot get this clean. It's like, it's, it's like it just won't come off. So if you have any tips for that. Here is Cooper just going in and out of his house waiting for me to close the door. Sometimes people think he's so unhappy in there, so I like to show them, yeah. This is how he spends his free time. Okay, we have breakfast. Oh my gosh, it looks so weird. This thing is so convenient though, I swear. This is my favorite thing ever. Okay, I'm gonna add some everything with the bagel seasoning. This is my first time trying it and there is my Felicia combo. I've actually not been eating this for breakfast lately or for any meal and for some reason today I was just feeling it. So. <laughs> A quick little first impression review of everything but the bagel seasoning. <laughs> I'm do that. Yeah mine is very very garlicky like I'm checking to make sure I didn't get an 
extra garlic version or something. I just wasn't expecting that. I guess I was mostly expecting just like seeds. I was expecting seeds and not really flavor. We'll see. Leave your opinion of everything but the bagel seasoning down below. And in case I have anyone new who's gonna hate on me for not having a bed in there, he literally destroys anything we put in there with him. So we go through blankets a lot, but being summer, it's kind of warm and everything. No blanket for now, and he likes it that way. <laughs> Are you a happy boy? Okay, next on the agenda is putting together some backpacks. I am overly excited about this. So at my job, we try to do like community help things. And of course, I'm brand new there, so I'm, you know, learning about all of this. But there is a church locally who helps kids get backpacks who like can't really afford it. And I'm so pumped. I used to love back to school shopping and I had so much fun getting all of this stuff. Of course, I wish I could get like a million more, but I plan on having these four backpacks and have them like, you know, pretty full of things. So this is what I have so far. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it in each one and then I'm hoping to find more stuff like I really want to get like a pencil bag for each one but I had trouble finding it yesterday also I found these backpacks at five below for five dollars unfortunately money wise I was not prepared to spend like ten or fifteen dollars on a backpack four different times <laughs> but these actually feel like really good quality zippers and everything so that's awesome and of course, this one is like totally a vibe. I love it. <laughs> and hopefully some little kid will be like super excited about it. So we've got Kleenex, notebooks, markers, crayons, glue sticks, pencils, and erasers. So I'm gonna try my best to kind of like color match everything, you know? Like one is gonna have blue stuff, one is gonna have orange stuff. I did get a tie-dye notebook, which is super cool. And that way, if, you know, their favorite color is blue, then they can, like, pick the blue backpack and it's going to have a bunch of blue stuff in it. Anyways, obviously, super excited about this and I'm going to just pack these together. Okay, here is the first one. It's like my favorite one because it is the tie-dye notebook. <laughs> Maybe I should have just done all tie-dye. I don't know, but I have the pink eraser. I have a glue stick. I have like three pencils and different colored erasers on there. And then we have like the Kleenexes and the crayons and everything. I'm hoping I can find more and maybe put the pencils in a pouch. And also this Five Below backpack is low-key lit. Like the uh, zippers and everything feel pretty stout. So hopefully it will be like long-lasting. But Speaking of Five Below, here is some other really cute stuff that I got. I got this little keychain for myself. Look how cute. So cute. I got this adorable crab one for my cancer friend. You guys know I like astrology. It's so fluffy too. Then I got this, I guess, llama one for one of my friends is going through like a hard time right now. So I want to put a little bit of stuff together and I thought she would like this. It's really cute. Yes, we are adults. <laughs> I just thought they were cute and they're so soft. I got this super cute coffee mug that I'm going to take to work. It was $3 and it's like really heavy. I don't know how they sell this stuff for $3. I'm gonna put it in my little work basket here so that it's ready to go tomorrow. All right, I'm obviously really feeling the chocolate today and I'm about to heat up one of these Aldi muffins. They are so good. Here is my muffin. I'm gonna sit down and chill for just a second, catching up on the new Virgin River. This looks amazing. I'm telling you, Aldi muffins, so good. Hello, so I ate some hamburger helper Sat on the couch to watch Netflix. I was cold, so I had like three blankets on me. And then I just 
fell asleep. I just took a mid Sunday nap, which was really nice. I am not a nap person at all. I never ever fall asleep. So whenever I do, like I just assume that my body needed it. So that's cool. Now I'm awake. It is 2 p.m. I'm gonna get uh, back on my cleaning grind, refilling things, fixing things up. Need to edit a video and some other things we're gonna take care of. Hey. All right, I snacked on some Girl Scout style coconut cookies. Went outside, put my bare feet in the grass. You know, I was just feeling that today. <laughs> the earth has healing energy. I admired my hydrangeas that are growing out there. They're like the prettiest color. I'm gonna have to go show you. And then I edited and posted my grocery haul video for today. And now I'm about to door dash some McDonald's. <laughs> Intuitive eating is very nice. Food guilt still creeps in sometimes about random things, but it's getting a lot better and a lot easier to just eat what sounds good. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna order some McDonald's, gonna eat, and then I will probably get started on meal prepping. So my goal for the rest of the day is to film an entire meal prep video, which there's not a ton of meal prep involved in like the foods that I'm eating this week, and film a skincare video to show you how I pretty much fixed my skin. That's been a long, long awaited one and I'm excited to get it out there. Also, really excited to shower and wash this hair later on tonight. So that is my plan. I feel like I've forgotten something. Yeah, I also wanted to clean up my bedroom some today. I'm not sure if I will have time to do that, but my vanity is still a mess. And then from getting ready every day, it just makes it 10 times worse. I just haven't adjusted to that part of working again, but it's fine. You know, we're doing that. So for now, I'm gonna order McDonald's and I think I'm gonna show you my hydrangeas. Good evening, YouTube family. Wow, hello, Rosacea. I really wanted to say hello. I painted my nails that came off and I didn't get to meal prep, it's fine. I already have stuff like set up at work that I can eat, so it's not a huge deal and I'm gonna be eating breakfast here, so it's fine. But when I get home from work tomorrow, I am gonna fix up a few things to have them meal prepped for a video. And I'm also going to film my skincare video. I did film some clips of it. You guys can see the skin is looking fairly okay. Besides, you know, I'm like a little bit warm and the pinkness is happening. Anyways, it's been really fun to vlog today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert some clips of my meal prep last week. Maybe it will motivate you. And that is all I have for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you next time.